Hey guys, how's it going? Felic here with TheInnerGeekZone.com and I've had a few requests to take a look at the class race combinations in Age of Conan, specifically the ones that are available in the free-to-play version. And while we're here, we're going to take a quick look at the character creator as well. Now when you first enter character creation, this is the screen you start off with. And from here, the first thing you're going to do is choose between a male or a female character. After you choose between male or female, you're given the choice between different races and the class combinations that are available for that race. The first race that's available is the Aquilonians. Available with the race of the Aquilonians are the Guardian class. Guardians stand firm like towers in front of the combat, knocking down enemies by the score. They have no magic, but can take more punishment than anyone else. They seem to wear pretty much heavy plate and shields, one-handed weapons, and they appear to be a pretty heavy tanking class. The Guardian is available 100% free in the free-to-play version. Also available absolutely free in the free-to-play version is the Priest of Mitra. Priests of Mitra will divine power that can aid, heal, and even bring the dead to life. Their god is one of justice, security, and liberty, and their priests are ready to fight to ensure these freedoms and battle against oppression, tyranny, and villainy. Priests of Mitra have the strongest healing powers and a wide range of spells, including martial prayers that can bombard their enemies with holy damage. And of course, as a priest, they wear light armor, uh, they can carry shields, and it seems that they are pretty much a healing class. And the third class that is available free with the Aquilonians are the Barbarians. Barbarians are wild and untamed fighters. They utilize speed and non-conventional attacks to damage their opponents, sacrificing armor to achieve this goal. Basically like most typical rogue classes, they wear light armor. You can use two-handed or one-handed weapons as well as bows and thrown weapons. Now also available to play with the Aquilonians, but not free with the Unchained version are the Dark Templar. Dark Templars are fissile warriors that utilize dark magic to inflict pain and drain the life out of enemies. It is a melee class but very adept at magic and can use talismans to increase their damage. Dark Templars wear full plate, heavy armor, and use one-handed weapons and crossbows as well as thrown weapons. Also the class that I really want to play is you can purchase in the item shop and unlock are the Conquerors. Conquerors are strong and heavily armored fighters usually found in the midst of combat. Their, aur their auras inspire everyone that fights with them. The class is mainly a melee class. Looks like they wear full plate heavy armor and use two-handed or one-handed weapons. Uh, heavy warrior DPS class. Two other classes that are available with the Aquilonians that are not free to play but can be purchased in the item shop under the Rogue Archetype. One is Assassins. Assassins are specialists in murder. Dual wielding daggers, they deal swift and massive damage to their victims before they slink back into the shadows from whence they came. And also the Ranger. Rangers are bow and crossbow specialists who pick off their opponents at a distance but are also capable of fighting back in close combat. The next available race are the Sumerians. The free to play classes that are available with the Sumerians are the Guardian and the Barbarian. The other classes that can be unlocked through the item shop are the Dark Templar, the Conqueror, the Ranger, and the Bear Shaman. Bear shamans are strong like their totem animal, the bear, crushing enemy skulls with their massive hammers while augmenting healing and eventually resurrecting their allies. They get their powers from shamanistic rituals and strong ties with the spirits and nature around them. And the final free to play race are the Stygian. The only class that is available to play in the free-to-play version of the Stygian are the Mage Demonologists. Demonologists are magic experts who have aligned themselves strongly with otherworldly demonic forces. Their damaging magical attacks drain the caster's own life force. 
The class also wields augmentative magic and summons demonic servants to do their bidding. And available through the item shop for the Stygians are the Tempest of Set. These priests wield the awesome destructive might of Set, the ancient snake god of Stygia who rewards disciples with devastating spells. Like other priests, Tempests have the power to heal in mass and restore life. They also have the Rogue and Ranger classes available, as well as two other mage classes. One is the Herald of Zotli. I'm probably not pronouncing that right. The Herald of Zotli uses dark magic to transform themselves into a fiery demon. In demonic form, they swing at their foes with heavy weapons while searing flames weaken enemies around them. Wow, that sounds awesome. I might want that one too. And the other Stygian mage class is the Necromancer. The air around Necromancers chills as they spread their corruptive and devastating magic. Necromancers can raise the dead and command them to do their bidding and wield the cold and unholy sorceries of the grave. The fourth race here, the Chitin, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, is only available if you've purchased the expansion, which you can also do in the item shop. Now, let's take a quick look at the character customization we've got available. Let's just say we want to use a Stygian here. When you go into the character creator, first thing you're going to have is a few different voice sets to choose from. Right here, you've also got a body slider between thin, big, and muscular. And you can kind of slide that around and get an overall body type. You have a height adjuster skin color there's also a button here that's random body and over to the right you've got different faces eye color you can zoom into the head and take a look at those hairstyles facial hair You can adjust hair color and finally facial markings after you're done with the basic character creation you can switch over to the advanced and there's several sliders as you can see here to adjust different parts. And yes, for those of you who are wondering, there is a bosom slider as well as a posterior slider. You can give your female characters all the junk and the trunk. With the character creator, there's a not a ton of stuff, but that's a pretty decent amount of character creation. And some options are specific to different races in the game. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button down there in the bottom and subscribe to the channel. As always, check us out at theinnergeekzone.com. And until next time, thank you very much for watching.